My name is Koichi Yamada. After graduating a renowned university, I founded Iwaya, a cell phone repairing company. So, I'm the CEO. Sure, we can have it repaired by the day after tomorrow. Even though the company has become big enough to expand nationwide, I still visit stores all over the country and serve customers myself. Customer number 20, please come this way. Oh gosh, how long are you going to keep me waiting? The next customer swore at me as soon as she took her seat. I apologized, but she became surprised as she saw my face. Oh, you're Yamada, aren't you? Um, have we met somewhere? Why can't you remember? It's me, Riko Hirokawa. And my memory came back. She was my classmate in high school. I remember I always had the highest grade in class, and she had the second highest. She was always competing with me, and it was quite annoying. You graduated from a top university and work here? OMG! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to deal with her, so I decided to not tell her the truth. I'm in charge of corporate sales at a real estate company now. I manage huge deals, making good money. I love my life. Whoa, that's great! You must be the type of person who was satisfied with your life just by getting into a good college. But academic grades don't mean much once you're in the labor force, you know? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I let her brag forever while giving her repair estimate. And she left happily. I can't believe how happy she was that she beat me. Hmm, looks like we need to open another store. I spent the day at the head office doing paperwork. While our company's performance was on the upswing, we also had the problem of not having enough stores. I should ask for a list of all the prospective locations. As I was filling out my to-do list, someone knocked on the door. Excuse me, I've brought a sales report of the new franchises. She's Ayana Oki. She's a very reliable employee. There's just one drawback. Thank you, I'll look it over. Ugh, oh, she's staring at me again. When she talks to me, she keeps staring at me. No matter how many times I warn her, she doesn't stop. Thank you. They're making more sales than I expected. Oh, y yes, they are. I think we're off to a good start. You were serving the customers earlier. How was it? It was great. Everyone was working really hard. I see. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, what is it? I've received a report from the store manager that a female customer was being rude to you. Do you know her? Oh, yeah, Hirokawa-san. She was my classmate in high school. Wow, you're amazing! You've got the best grade again! In high school, I always had the highest grade in class. I just liked studying. Yeah, I'm glad. I bet you can get into any college, huh? <laughs> I'm sure life is not that easy. Don't be full of yourself just because you're good at studying. Um, I'm not. She always came in second and always picked a fight on me. You're always acting like you're humble, but I know you're not. You actually want to brag about your grace to everyone, right? That's not true. Studying is like a hobby for me. Are you enjoying your life properly? I don't just study, I hang out with my friends and actively participate in extracurricular activities too. Good for you. I'm always at home playing with my phone. <laughs> You're just a nerd. I'm sure people like you are useless once you are in the labor force. I know, I agree with you on that one. Like you, I have a lot of experience in life, so I don't regret coming in second at all. I'm rather worried about your future.
I guess that's the only kind of conversation we've ever had. When I shared that story with Oki-san... She's terrible. You're an amazing person. You built this company all by yourself. No, no, I didn't do it alone. If it weren't for you, I don't know what would have happened to this company. Oh. <laughs> but it's all thanks to you. Even Hirokawa-san. That kind of energy is something I don't have. Huh? Being full of ambition is a talent, too. I kind of wish I could be like her in a way. Um, 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 does that mean you l l l like her? Hmm, well, I've never disliked her. Oh, whoa, Okisan looks really scary. Oh, um, I'm hungry. I guess I'll go have lunch. Oh, please, let me hear more details. Oh, that's right. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. I forcibly changed the subject and started discussing about the prospective location for the new store. We certainly need another store. And I'm sure the demand for smartphones will keep on increasing. Yeah, so I'm thinking of visiting all the potential sites on my next day off. A day off? Research? A date? Oksan, what's wrong? I'll go with you. I'll definitely go! Really? Then let's set the date. Great, I'm right on time. I wonder where Okisan is. On my day off, I was looking for Okisan in front of a station where we were supposed to meet. Boss, it's this way! She rushed up to me. She was dressed very neatly and feminine, looking different from how she is at the office. Whoa, somehow. I'm getting nervous. Hmm? Is something wrong? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go then. We quickly headed toward our destination, so that she wouldn't notice how nervous I was. Ah, boss! Please wait. This place is pretty nice. It's easy to access with cars, and there are lots of pedestrians. I was excited to find the most suitable site for the new store. It's managed by Nomoto Real Estate. Shall I call them right away? Yes, please. This one might sell if we don't buy it soon. Oh, I'm hungry. After getting in touch with the real estate agent, we stopped by a barbecue restaurant. Yeah, let's eat. May I order? Yeah, please do. Thanks. Oh, boss, it's going to get burned. Come on. Please eat up. Um, I think I'm almost at my limit. She ordered a crazy amount of food, but she's about to finish up as if it's nothing. I was horrified to see that. Well, shall I order cold noodles to finish up? No, 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 I I'm good. You can eat whatever you want. Oh, beef tongue is the best. Two more servings of beef tongue, please. I'll have some oolong tea, please. She ordered even more food. I feel like I'm watching a show now. It's quite enjoyable. I could watch you eat forever. Did you say something? Oh, no. Nothing. I didn't say anything. Phew! Thank you for the meal. Whoa! You ate up everything! <laughs> I laughed, and she instantly turned pale. I'm sorry. That must have been unsightly. Oh, no. Not at all. Everyone has always teased me for having a crazy appetite. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It was fun to watch. I love people who enjoy eating like you. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. That sounded awkward. I was just saying it's nothing to be ashamed of. As I was being awkward, she laughed at me. Okay, I'll have a parfait and the boss will have a cup of coffee. We left the barbecue restaurant and entered a cafe. 
Yoshihisa-san, the manager of the new store, said he used to be a police officer. He had to retire because of an health issue. Oh, really? I didn't know that. She started telling me various stories about all the employees and managers of our stores. You're amazing! I'm not very good at getting to know everyone. Oh, Hirokawa-san told me that too. It may be so, but you do what I can't do, so we are supporting each other. We're a team, aren't we? A team? I felt relieved to hear that. I guess that means I can just be the way I am. You really are amazing. Hey, you're embarrassing me. Please stop it. Whenever she smiles, everyone around her smiles along with her. She has that kind of charm. The repair is complete. Here it is. A week later, Hirokawa-san came to the store to pick up her phone. Hey, I don't remember there was a scratch in the corner. You guys didn't damage it, did you? No, we did not. We took pictures of it when you came in. Do you want to see them? <laughs> No, it's fine. Oh gosh, it's so hot here. You should turn the AC up. Then why don't you take off your expensive looking jacket? Oh, did you notice? This coat indeed was expensive, but I fell in love at first sight and bought it on impulse. If you wear something like that in summer, of course you're hot. And this is a luxurious snakeskin bag. You know, I am now able to afford this kind of stuff. Good for you. You must be well off. I told you, right? Getting good grades doesn't mean anything. You have to be like me. You're right. I totally agree. Well, I'm sure it's too late for you now, though. You'll never be able to catch up with me. She started laughing out loud happily, and my worried employees were looking at me. How can you possibly work as a miserable sales rep in a place like this? <laughs> Please don't say that. Everyone here is wonderful. What? Why are you talking back to me all of a sudden? I don't care what you say to me, but I can't let you mock anybody else here. Hmm. You are lecturing me? I just told you the truth. Ugh, I hate being here. I'm leaving. After saying so, she left the store with her winter coat and a lame bag. Phew, I'm tired. While I was resting in the break room, Oki-san walked in. At that moment, my heart started pounding. Boss, do you have time now? Oh, of, of course. Is something wrong? Someone from Nomoto Real Estate is coming to see you today. I went out into the hallway and looked over the document she handed me. It was about the property we went to see the other day. Can I leave this case to you? Yes, of course. Hello, sir. While I was talking with Oki-san, one of my employees from the main branch greeted me. Hey, how's the main branch doing? But then I saw something I couldn't believe. Hirokawa-san was standing at the end of the corridor. What? Ah, Hirokawa-san, this way please. Oki-san brought Hirokawa-san to me with a smile. She was slack-jawed. This is our president, Koichi Yamada. And this is Hirokawa-san from Namoto Real Estate, who will be in charge of this project. I bowed my head awkwardly. Good to see you again. Uh, um, it's my pleasure. Oh? Ah, right. Hirokawa-san, you were his classmate, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. I told you before, right? I've known her for a long time. The moment I said that, some sort of a dark aura emanated from Oki-san. 
Oh, is that so? So you're the one everyone was talking about. Um, Oki-san? Let me tell you the whole story since you don't seem to know. Oki-san gave Hirokawa-san a frightening smile. Hirokawa-san involuntarily flinched seeing that. He founded this company by himself after graduating from college and now has 20 franchises all over the country. Oki-san, we shouldn't be bragging to our business partner. No, we have to teach her a lesson thoroughly. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sorry I never told you. I didn't mean to keep it a secret. Oh, I see. She looked as if her soul had been drained out of her. Well then, Hirokawa-san, let's start the business meeting. Please tell us about your property. When I was about to leave them and return to my office, Oki-san called out to me. Boss, the interviewer is waiting for you in the conference room. Please go there. Uh, what interview? I asked her back, and she glared at me. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that's right, I forgot. I read the atmosphere and headed for the empty conference room. Oh, is it this late already? We've now decided on the property for the new store, and preparations began for the opening. Time flies in a busy time like this. Everyone has already left, huh? Alright, all the doors are locked. I locked all the doors properly and left the office. Then I saw Hirokawa-san there. I'm here, handsome. Oh, what's the matter? Did you have something to tell me about work? The Hirokawa-san I knew was not there. She was very close to me, and her tone was much higher than usual. We hadn't seen each other for such a long time, and yet you haven't even invited me to dinner. Well, we're both busy. So let's do it some other time. Why? I want it now. Um, are you drunk? Ugh, I'm not drunk. But you are making me dizzy. Then you better go home. You have work tomorrow too, right? As I was about to walk away, she grabbed my arm. With crazy amount of force. Oh gosh, you're terrible. You know how I feel about you, right? Don't you know why I used to tease you back in high school? No, I don't. I've always loved you, all this time. Even coming in your store wasn't a coincidence. I knew you were there. I see, but I'm sorry. I can't go out with you. Well, I know you need time to think. Wait, what? An immediate rejection? Why? Because I love someone else. Who? You know her too. It's Oki-san. What the heck do you like about her? Because she's always cheerful, earnest, and kind. I'm... I'm just like her too. You're not like her at all. She never changes her attitude to others depending on their social status. She froze as I said that, and I quickly left. Boss, please wait for me. As I was walking down the street, Oki-san came running up to me. I'm going home too, with you. Huh? I thought there wasn't anyone left at the office. Boss, weren't you talking to someone just now? Uh, um, yes, for a bit. Then I realized what was going on, and I started blushing. Were you... listening? What? I don't know what you are talking about. Hey, give me a break. But I want to hear that directly from you. I made up my mind and looked at her. I love you. Please go out with me. Yes, of course. Then let's go home together. Yeah, 
Let's go. And we started walking, hand in hand. Feeling the warmth of her hand, I became more motivated to work. It must be because I've now found someone I love. I now realize that people can work harder when they have someone they really care about. And I vowed to never let go of her.